Hi, my name's Matt, and I was wondering if you or maybe someone close to you could possibly relate to any of the words that are on the banners behind me. If so, I'd also like to share with you the information that's on this postcard. On this postcard are excuses that people with hidden and apparent disabilities use so they don't have to self-disclose their disability to people in high-risk situations. Unfortunately, I do it too. And when we do it, well, the first thing we do is we internalize the oppression that exists because of the stigma surrounding disability. We're also not advocating for ourselves and we're internalizing the oppression that exists surrounding disability. It's really important right now, especially when you consider for the first time ever, one in three incoming students coming to college this year are suffering from a hidden disability, post-traumatic stress, ADHD, anxiety, depression, or trauma, or a myriad of other hidden or apparent disabilities. And as of right now, most colleges and universities don't have a good way to target those students and get them the help that they need. That's why I've decided to create a disability identity program and bring it to your campus. And there's two components to it. The first component is come out as disabled. Uh, ideally, it's a big blue tent where we do tabling and tenting outside, but sometimes, depending on your uh, university, we can actually do tabling inside. And what that consists of is for up to two hours, usually during a lunch hour, uh, students will walk by, they'll see all the banners, and they'll stop and they'll go, hmm, and they'll ask, what's this about? And then I get to ask them, well, can you relate to any of the words that are on the banners behind me? And they always say yes. And in that moment, I ask them to tell me their story. And for the first time, for many of these students, it's the first time that they've ever had the chance to actually come out as disabled and share the nature of their disability with someone who's credible that might have a similar experience to them. And then I ask them, well, are they getting the help that they need? Maybe the accommodations that would allow them to be more successful in school. And 99% of the time, they say no. And so in that moment, I always like to introduce them to the person that's with me. And I always say, her name is Sally, and she's from the Office of Accessibility Services. And she might be able to work with you to design some uh, accommodations that will help you be more successful in school. Is that something you'd be interested in? And they always say yes. And when they say yes, that means we just save that student. What do you mean by save that student? Well, not only are we saving them and giving them what they need to be successful in school, we're also saving their tuition. Right now, retention is one of the biggest things. And if we're talking about one in three students possibly not getting the help that they need to be able to be successful on campus, this is a program that after you make the investment in will actually pay for itself. There's not just a tenting component to come out as disabled. There's actually an online component too. I've created a Facebook group called Come Out As Disabled, where students on your campus or from all the other campuses that we've been to can come and talk about what their disability looks like and how that impacts their life and also get some advocacy suggestions from other people who might have a situation that rhymes with theirs. While we're doing the Come Out As Disabled tabling and tenting, we're also promoting the evening program that night called Nurture Your Nature, which is uh, an identity program where I actually teach people who they are based on something called the identity circle that I've developed. And we use disability as an overlay and as the examples in Nurture Your Nature because everybody's got something, everybody can relate to disability. But there's more. And the best part about this program is actually the fact that we get three different departments all working together to come and support this program. The first department that I'd like you to work with through your outreach is the Office of Multiculturalism. Unfortunately, most Offices of Multiculturalism on campus still don't include disability identity as a oppressed minority group on campus that needs to have programming designed for it and that group validated. Then I'd like you to work with the Office of Student Activities. These are the people that usually bring the lectures and different entertainment uh, choices to the students on campus and this is a highly relevant uh, super personal and intense uh, lecture that everybody should get exposed to and then finally I'd like you to work with the Office of Accommodations and Accessibility uh, these are the people that every single day design the right accommodations and truly do the hard work on campus of accommodating people and getting them the help that they need well Thank you very much for listening, and I do hope that I can bring uh, all of these ideas of disability identity to your program, to your campus. And again, thank you. My name is Mac Lowacki, and I appreciate your time.